Question, if I put a million dollars down when buying this home, how much equity do I have? About a million dollars. But what if I want to get some of that equity back out? What if I want cash in hand to invest or buy something or do something different? I'd have to get a home equity line of credit. What is a line of credit? How do you get it? And what can you use it for? That's what's coming up next. One, 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 one shot. Now the future for sure. Let's go. I'm turning dreams into reality. Yeah. It's one all one shot. Now the future for sure. Let's go. Today's video is about a really important question, which is what is a home equity loan? And if that's a question that you're asking, it might be because you own a house or you want to buy a house and you want to know how to extract some of that value in the form of cash. Cash now? It's your money. Use it when you need it. Because if you have a home and let's say it has equity in it, guess what? You can use that equity to buy a lot of really cool things. In fact, I retired at the age of 26 because I was able to access equity out of a house and buy more assets. To get a home equity loan, you've got to understand really what equity is. From Investopedia, home equity is the value of a homeowner's interest in their home. In other words, it's the real property's current market value. Now, if that's a little confusing, let me give you a really good example. Let's assume for a moment that you have a home right here and it's valued at $300,000. Maybe once upon a time you bought it for a certain price, but today's market value, $300,000. However, you only owe $180,000. The question is, how much equity do you have? Well, if it's valued at $300,000 and you owe $180,000, then you subtract them from each other. And the difference, $120,000. In other words, if you owed $180,000 and actually sold it for $300,000, you would actually make money on the difference, which is about $120,000. Hold the phone. Does that mean that if I have $120,000 of equity that the bank would actually give me or loan me an extra $120,000 on the home? Would they actually give me money up to the full value of the house? No, the answer is no. There's what's called usable equity. And in this situation, banks will lend up to 80% of the value. 80% of $300,000 is $240,000. So if I owe $180,000 and the bank will lend up to 80% of the value, which is $240,000, then it means that I really only have $60,000 of usable equity. By the way, do you know what I can do with $60,000? I can buy another property producing cash flow for me. That's how I got rich in the first place. Now, whether you buy a house with equity or you've owned a house for a while and you can pull some equity out of it, or you have a friend that has a house with equity or a family member, you need to understand that there are actually two different ways of accessing money out of that house. Both are types of loans. The first is what is called a cash out refinance. You're basically going back to the bank and saying, I want to redo the entire mortgage and this time I want to get some cash in hand by the time we recreate it. And check this out, a cash out refinance requires you to refinance the existing loan. It may be favorable if the mortgage rates have dropped and a single loan can be up to a 30 year fixed. The second type of loan is what is called a home equity line of credit. And this is where you basically go to the bank and say, hey bank, I wanna keep my first mortgage in play, but I wanna add a second mortgage because I've got some equity in the home and I would like to get a HELOC, a home equity line of credit. And the bank says, sure, it's free. It doesn't cost money up front to usually put that in place. And think of a home equity line of credit kind of like a credit card that is tied to the equity in the house. If you had $60,000 of usable equity, then your home equity line could be charged for up to $60,000. But just like a credit card, you can pay it down, you can ring it up, you just can't go over the limit. So you might wanna buy something for $5,000 and you use 5,000 of the $60,000 available. Maybe next month you pay it off and it's back down to zero again. A home equity line of credit is really cool, but super different than a fixed rate mortgage where I'm doing that cash out refinance. 
Now you need to understand there's a big difference between a cash out refinance for accessing that equity and doing a HELOC to access that equity. You see, if you do a cash out refinance, you're gonna replace the entire first mortgage with a new one at a higher balance because they're gonna give you some cash when you actually close on that brand new loan and you're gonna have to pay for that. They're gonna wrap into the mortgage probably one or 2% of those costs. So in general, it's thousands of dollars. On the other hand, a home equity line of credit is just adding a new mortgage. And generally, you're not charged any money for that. Most banks will actually set that up for free. And again, that's gonna kinda work like a revolving credit card tied to the amount of equity that you have available. On the other hand, a cash out refinance is usually gonna give you like a fixed rate on your 30 year mortgage. And often, historically speaking, it's gonna be a nice locked in low rate, especially if you're doing, for example, like a 30 year mortgage. A home equity line doesn't work that way. Usually the rate is based on prime and it's a moving target. And usually every 12 months that rate will adjust up or down. The good news is that when you compare the last decade, they've been really neck and neck. So it hasn't been a really huge difference, but it actually could be in time. Sometimes people like doing the fixed rate mortgage where you can do that cash out refinance because it's gonna lock in that rate. You know that it's not gonna change, it's not gonna shift, but the downside, you have to agree up front to take all of the equity out because it's locked and loaded. But a HELOC then again does give you flexibility. You don't have to pull out all $60,000 or whatever you're going to reset the mortgage for. You pretty much only pay for what you use. For me, I like that flexibility. I think you need to be more flexible. Just don't forget there's that downside that your rate could go up or down. So how do I balance the difference between a locked rate with a fixed rate mortgage, but the flexibility of only using as much cash as I need on a HELOC? You know, I get tons of people that reach out and they say, Chris, is it a cash out refinance? Is it a HELOC? What is the best way to take a loan out against my house for that equity? And the advice that I normally give is use a home equity line of credit up front. It's free to set up and it's usually faster. And then you use only what you need. But once you've bought that thing, whether it's a vehicle or a car or hopefully an asset like another home or two, you'll then know how much money you actually needed. You can then go back to the bank and say, now I'm ready to pay the money to lock this in at a low rate for the next 30 years. And if I do it in that order, it usually leads to the most efficient path of how I access my money. Is a home equity loan a good idea or a bad idea? I have to tell you, over the years, I've seen people use them for a variety of reasons. Sometimes people want to access equity the way they would use a credit card. They want to buy something that they can't afford yet. And the bottom line is, if it ends up being something that is consumer-minded, if, if it's a car, something that goes down in value and depreciates, if it's another one-time purchase that doesn't financially further you and get you further ahead, I normally put that in the bucket called a bad idea. Accessing equity in a home to make the home nicer or more lavish, or maybe you're using it to get married and you wanna pay for a wedding. Maybe you're using it to pay off some credit cards or some student loans. Any of those things, they're basically taking that equity, reducing your net worth, you pay for them, and then you've lost the money. You didn't put it into something that actually created more value for you. For me, those are all really bad ideas. On the other hand, I love using equity in a home to buy more homes. The very first home I ever bought, one year later, the bank came back and I set up a home equity line of credit for free for $18,600. And you know what? I allowed some friends to talk me into going on eBay and buying a car at a discount to see if I could sell it and make a couple thousand dollars. In the end, I drove it for five months and I actually lost a couple of grand. Once I got my money back paid off in my home equity line of credit, this time I used it as a down payment to buy my next home. That home over time made me over $130,000. Plus, on average, about $600 a month of cash flow. And I learned a really important lesson. Use assets to build assets. Don't use assets for dumb businesses and certainly don't use it for consumer credit. So consider for a moment that when you build up equity in a home, because that will happen with time, that instead you access it to buy more homes. Boom.
I'll tell you right now, I think the number one regret that older people have in life when they look back is that most of their net worth is sitting in that home they bought all those years ago that they raised their family in. And they're always thinking, man, I wish I could go back and just buy five more or 10 more because I'd be a millionaire, I'd be a multimillionaire. But you know what? Sometimes we gotta wait 30 years before we figure that out. Don't make that mistake. You know, I'm super thankful to YouTube and social media in general. Over the years, it's introduced me to a lot of amazing people, some of which have actually gone on to become my business partners. And they've sat down with me and they said, okay, Chris, what's my game plan? Like, how am I gonna invest in real estate? And sometimes they have money set aside in savings, sometimes in a 401k or an IRA, but often that is money that is sitting in their home doing nothing for them. And originally they had a goal of pay off their home and I love to show them how to pay off their home faster by taking one step backwards to take many steps forwards. And you do that by taking equity out, buying assets that produce a superior ROI. For example, if I can borrow money right now out of my home equity line of credit at 3% or 4% and I can put it in real estate earning 25%, you tell me what the delta is. The difference between four and 25 is 21%. And I just wanna ask you a question. Would you give me a dollar if I could turn it into $7? Well, the answer is probably yes. And that's why people end up partnering with me in the game of real estate. You know, if you study the real estate market the way I do, I've done a billion dollars worth of real estate. I'm gonna tell you that the next five years is the most choice time in the next 20 to own real estate and the people who buy the most real estate correctly, they're gonna be the winners five years from now. If you've got equity sitting in a home right now, here's my advice, access it and put it in real estate. And if you have no idea how to do that, click the link below and I'll show you some of my excess inventory. The homes that I'm buying that have these huge ROIs, I'll share with you how you can access those properties, I'll share with you how I can make it super turnkey for you to buy those homes because if you have equity in a home, now is most certainly the time to get that into the game of real estate so you can wind up on top. Hey, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it created clarity for you on what equity is and how to get the right kind of equity loan. There's another way that I really like to use equity. I like to use it to start profitable businesses. And this year, I've helped over a thousand people start super profitable businesses. Click this link if you wanna be your own boss and learn how to make an extra couple thousand dollars a week and I'll show you how to get there. And after people watch a lot of my videos, Clan, ruin the video.